hi, I'm self-employed. I'm one of the 1.9 million independent contractors in Australia. Now, there's a little over 10 million people working in Australia. So one in five of us are self-employed. And we're now going through, along with everyone, probably the biggest depression or recession that we've seen since the Second World War. Certainly that's what all the commentators are saying. So the question is, if you're self-employed, how do you survive through it? It's a big question, and one that we at Independent Contractors of Australia would like to address. So what we're doing is we're making a series of short videos, and we're looking at how you, the independent contractor, and us, work our way through this recession, and come out of it the other end looking pretty good. Uh, but let's keep this balanced. We're not in the business of saying Armageddon is upon us because in a recession, there's still plenty of opportunities. So what we're talking about is back to basics. There's a series of videos looking at the core things that you need to do to keep your business operating. And remember that on top of that, there's another point about being self-employed. When you are employed, your future is dependent upon your employer. They determine what goes on. But when you're self-employed, you determine for yourself what your future is. So a key part of working through a recession is how you apply creativity, some business acumen, and look out there for things that you might be able to do that someone else isn't doing. Probably one of the first points to appreciate is how a recession rolls in. There are a number of, uh, probably three key ways that it can affect you. The first one is that it just rolls in slowly on you your income just keeps dropping. And sometimes you get to the stage where you think it can't drop any further, and it keeps dropping. And this can go on for some time. First thing is, be ready for that sort of stuff. Second way a recession can roll in on you is that it hits you pretty hard. Particularly if you've got a what you thought was a good client, and might have actually been a really good client, who suddenly goes belly up, they go bankrupt all of a sudden you're hit with a situation where a major client doesn't pay you and you're in crisis. They're probably the two principal ways in which a recession or, or bad economic times start to personally impact on you. The third thing, and it could happen in this, what everyone's calling a great recession, is a credit crunch. We haven't seen a credit crunch since the 1960s, so there's not a lot of people around today who really understand what it is or have lived through it. But it's literally a situation where the banks can't loan money because they don't have the money. So if you've got a loan with the bank and you need to roll it over, they really might not be able to loan you the money. Or you might have a loan and they suddenly say, we want some of that loan to be brought back in. So what do you do in a recession? Well, in actual fact, it's not much different from what you do when the economic times are good. It comes down to a very basic principle. You have to have more income than your expenses. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But how do you achieve that? Well, first thing is, whatever you do, don't panic. If things are getting tight and things are rough, keep your head together. It's an emotional thing. So don't panic. Second thing is, and this is where a lot of people really don't get it right, for goodness sake. Invoice promptly. Get your invoices out there if you're in an, in an invoice business. The other one is, in my view, don't give credit. Particularly if you're a small business, you're not a bank. If people need money, they can go to a bank. So don't give credit. People have got to pay you within the time frames that you set for the payment. Sometimes this can be difficult because you might be dealing with someone who you consider a friend, but a friend that doesn't pay you is a liability, not a friend. The other one, on the other side, is pay your bills quickly. A lot of people think that it's smart business to use other people's money to fund your business. I don't subscribe to that. I think if you don't pay your bills quickly, you don't know where you're actually at and you're really spending a whole lot of time administering bills. And then the other one, manage your loans. In this environment, make sure that you've got your debt and your loans 
down within a, in a framework that you can manage. So don't have too much debt. And the other very sensible thing is, of course, just manage your expenses. The old thing of cut the cloth according to your income. So it's basic stuff. We're going to talk about those things in our video clips. We're going to do it by interviewing people who run their own businesses. There's another aspect of a recession that you need to be aware of, which a lot of people really take a while to become aware of. And it's the emotional and the psychological side of it. If you're running your own business, you tend to see your own self-worth as a product of your own business. So if things get tight, you tend to lose some of your sense of self-worth. So be aware that there isn't an emotional side to an economic downturn. If you get caught in those circumstances where you're owed a lot of money, or you owe other people a lot of money, there are a number of things that you need to do. Confront reality. For the people who owe you money, go to them and talk it through. For the people who you owe money to, make sure you've done your homework, worked out where you're at, and go and talk to them. Because the thing that will give them confidences in you is whether or not you appear to know what you're talking about with your own circumstances. So be aware of your emotions that can come on this. It's very, very difficult to manage it, but manage it, you need to. Be prepared for the long haul. This recession, the way lots of people are talking, could be a long one. And the other thing, remember, is this is all about personal priorities. At the end of the day, it is only money. You've got other things to be concerned with, your relationships, your family, the people around you. So keep the thing in perspective. It is only money. It is situations that need to be handled. But you're in the business of coming out in the best shape possible. So we've got a series of videos. We'll release them during the, around about the middle of, the, of 2009. They'll talk about basic things and we'll do it by talking to people who are running their own businesses and have been through lots of experiences. We hope you find them of value.